Hey y'all, hey Amanda here, and today I have a Blind With Me video using the Crazy Confetti May Kit, and this is going to be a collaboration with Bonnie of Boulder Bond. She's going to be using this kit as well, and we'll see how different our spreads come out. It's going to be very exciting stuff. So, let's get started. I'm just going to move these to the side for now. Actually, I'm going to bring one over and see if any of these TJF covers work well. I mean, the pink one kind of does, but the pink in here is a little more blue leaning than this pink. So I think I'll just stick with the date cover ups for this week, which are from Sweet Kawaii Design. I'm using these ones. They're just like pinky, cutesy little hearts. But as always, as I've learned, putting down the headers first makes putting down the date cover ups a lot easier. So Let's do that first. I put my littles up top, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Just put the littles headers in. Oh, and you know what? I'm being such a bird brain, I completely forgot to give you guys a quick recap of last week. So let me stop doing this and do this real quick. So, for the most part, I had been using this Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel, which is fine and all. There's a little bit of shadowing, but if you're going to use full box stickers and cover the whole thing, it doesn't matter. And I used this kit from Lexi Kylie Designs, and I did a collaboration with Keisha Glam on YouTube, so definitely go check out how, how hers turned out. And I think it looks really cute. I love how this week looks. Obviously there's nothing really going on yet on Saturday and Sunday. I'm filming this Saturday morning. Not a lot happened on Friday because my mom's dog died, so I did have plans to meet with a girlfriend, but I had to cancel them. I was so drained by the time I was done with my mom, because, okay, I'm not really an animal person. I don't want to see an animal, like, die viciously or anything. Like, that's horrible, and I, I, I don't know, I just don't like that things get tested on animals, but I don't want, like, pets myself. And I wasn't, like, the biggest fan of the dog, because I'm just not a big fan of dogs to begin with, because I just don't like dogs jumping on me and being all happy up in my face. But the, her dog was a very good dog. His name was Mike. He was a very good dog, and she was really, really upset. But he did live a really long life. He actually, they had made a doctor's appointment for him for today on Saturday. He died probably after they went to work yesterday on Friday, so... Yeah, she was really upset, but, you know, he did live a long life. He got to go at home with all his friends. The cats were his friends, <laughs> which is kind of silly, but, yeah, the, he got along very well with the cats. I think he kind of thought he was a cat sometimes. So, yeah, that happened yesterday, which was really sad, but what are you going to do? You know, animals get old and die just like people do. So... Most of what I used is Lexi Kylie Design. I'll point out anything that isn't. This is a Scribble Prince Ghost sticker. This is an Organizing Companion sticker. The meal tracking stickers were Organizing Companion. The TV stickers are Dana's Ima Imagination Creation. The Vote sticker is an Erin Condren sticker. These hearts were just left over from a Sweet Kawaii Design sheet. You'll see that she has these extra hearts on her date cover-ups. And then the workout stickers were once more with love. The baseball stickers are also Lexi Kylie design. Um, these were both Lexi Kylie coffee stickers, but then once those ran out, I switched to these Odd Loop ones and these from. Where are they from? Hold on, I have that stack sitting right next to me. Happy Planning Designs. And then also I used this one from Kitten Clans, who has a new name. I don't know it off the top of my head. And anything else that isn't Lexi. These sushis are from Libby and Co. Um, this rain sticker I think is from Twice as Nice Lettering. And the rain boots are Ari's Daydream. The pineapple I think was from Kitten Clans. The doggy paw print is Scribble Prints Co. And then that's Planner Sweetie House and a Delightful Lemon credit card sticker. Everything else is Lexi Kylie design. So that's how my week has gone. It was pretty good until the dog died. And then I, I just hate seeing my mom upset. It makes me so upset when I see her upset. 
like nothing probably nothing in the world makes me more upset than seeing my mom upset like it makes me want to kick ass I will kick someone's ass if they make my mom upset like ugh. anyway back to the planner video and telling y'all a little about my week so I actually it was administrative professionals day last week and or on Wednesday, I think, it was Administrative Professionals Day. Yeah. So, I ended up getting the edible arrangement from the one team I work with on Thursday, because apparently it arrived after I'd already left on Wednesday. And the um, my one director just took it home and put it in his beer fridge, which is funny. And then Friday, the other team I work with gave me some flowers, so I took those flowers over to my mom, and she placed one on the little grave they made for him. But they buried the dog in her backyard, and they're gonna put a flower bed over top of him, and they've already made him a little, like, cross thingy. They painted it silver, and then attached, um, tennis balls to it, and each tennis ball had a letter of his name. Because he loved tennis balls, apparently. I didn't know. My mom said he loved tennis balls. But, um, so I took her the flowers that I had been given Friday from the one team that I work with. And she put one on his grave. And I think that helped her cope a little bit. They also gave me a gift card, which was really sweet of them. But... That story was specifically about the flowers. So, it's been a crazy week. Just a crazy week. I've hardly had two seconds to think. But, I'm trying to keep sane with everything that's going on. And everything will be just fine. So what are you guys up to today? We were supposed to go look at an apartment today, this morning, at 11. And then I had spent most of the morning filming and editing videos, and I look at the computer, and it's 10.43, and I'm like, oh, we're not making it to that appointment. So we'll have to reschedule with them. But there is a craft show at the fairgrounds, so maybe we'll go to that or something. I really am hoping I can convince Austin that we should go to the movies tomorrow. We used to be going to the movies all the time on um, Sunday or Saturday mornings, but we haven't gone recently, and I really want to. I really want to see that movie Keanu about the cat. Oh my god, with Key and Peele. It looks so funny. It looks hilarious. It's about time. I mean, like, Kitten videos are only, like, the most popular videos on the internet, right? Why has no one made a movie about kittens just yet? Don't know, but I'm so excited to see it. And it looks hilarious, and I really want to see it, hopefully, tomorrow morning. Or, today, by the time you're watching this video. I'm hoping to have this up and good to go Sunday morning. So, while we're still working up top, let's put in these stickers right here. The meal planning stickers. Yeah, that movie just looks freaking hilarious. I really want to see it. And I, we still haven't seen The Jungle Book. But I kind of really wanted to see that because it's supposed to just be visually stunning. One of the guys at work told me it was one of the best movies he's ever seen. So I really want to see it. I love that food stickers and hydrate stickers are included in this kit because they are two of the things I use every week. Okay, and then we'll go in with the hydrate stickers and we're just going to switch colors for some visual interest. I really, really was hoping I would have the energy to hang out with my friend yesterday, friend Lauren, but 
by the time we got home, because we drove home, and Austin went to Five Guys. I had a huge lunch, so I wasn't even hungry. So I walked to the Starbucks, because the Five Guys and the Starbucks are right on the same little shopping strip. So I like got, I'm drinking it now, because I didn't drink like hardly any of it last night. I got a latte with coconut milk. And I took like two sips and I was like, nope, this isn't even going to help. I am just so beat. I need to go to bed. So, that was my day. Oh, I can hear Austin on the phone. He must be out chatting with his mom. He's still in bed. I let him sleep in on the weekends so that I have the living room all to myself for filming. And it's nice and quiet and it's wonderful. So... Uh, no, actually, let me put TV shows first. Oh, I'm not going to have a TV show on Friday. Friday is payday. Okay. TV shows. I think there is one more Beverly Hills Housewife reunion special. Survivor is still on. There should still be one or two more new episodes of Big Bang before that's done for the season. And then there is Fear the Walking Dead. I know it might be, like, super tasteless that my two favorite shows right now are reality TV shows, but I've just been loving Survivor and Beverly Hills this season. They were really good. And that's all the little things I can pull off of this sheet. So let's go ahead and stick my to-do headers down here in the middle. I think some of the other housewives, they try to turn into series like um, Dallas, Potomac. Like, it's hard for me to get into those. I feel like those women don't have real issues. Because it's like, yeah, the point is to see how these rich people live so lavishly. But at the same time, if they're not having, like, real life problems, I don't want to watch them. Because there's, like, it's not interesting. It's just rich people bitching about rich people issues. But, like, I feel like... Beverly Hills and Atlanta are the two most interesting ones because those people actually have real issues like sicknesses, addictions, divorces, like stuff people can actually relate to. That's just how I feel personally. Like, I feel like some of the other ones don't delve deep enough into those issues. Like, one Potomac, um, what was her name? Sharice, I think the guy who's, the one who has a husband who's a basketball coach, like, they touched on the fact that, like, her husband's completely aloof and she's probably going to get a divorce, but I just feel like I wanted to see the meat and potatoes of it. And maybe they did get more into that, because I kind of stopped watching. I could maybe catch up on demand, but, hmm. And then I watched a couple episodes of the Dallas one, and those people are just, like, so boring. Those women have nothing going on, at least in my opinion. They just bitch about nothing. Okay, so all the headers are down, thank goodness for that. And now let's put these on. Um, which end do I want to start on? Let's do it this way. Let's do a pink. And then a teal. Ooh. And then a pink. And then a mint. Light pink again. And then the teal again. And 
and then the pink again, and then we'll have the other mint one for the sidebar. There we go. And then I've got these and the bottom washi, but I want to find something else I can use. Actually, no, if I put the weekend banner down the bottom, I, that should be enough. So, I want to put the bottom washi on, and I'll line it up as close to the bottom as I can. There we go. And then the other side. Alrighty, then I think I'll do the pink weekend banner. Cute, and then I want to put these boxes down. Oh, that is so crooked. Please peel up. Okay, thank goodness. Actually, I should make sure I'm still recording. Yeah, I got a few minutes in there. I've really enjoyed having these boxes in the bottom of the spread. They just kind of catalog and record anything I want down there. Whether it be that mail came, or some sort of special part of the day. Or just something that made that day particularly unique. Okay, and one more. Okay, so that part is done. And now we have the full boxes to work with. And I think I want to put the one with the heart in the thankful thought area. There we go. Perfect. And I think I want this one on the weekend. Yes. Now everything else can just go wherever. <laughs> mm, maybe I'll put another glitter one on the weekend. Yeah, I might as well make the weekend glittery. And then we're left with these ones. So let's spread the pink and teal out. Or the pink and mint, rather. Okay, so that sheet's completely empty. I want to take this last full box, or half box here, and stick that on Sunday, because we are doing a Mother's Day thing on Sunday. I don't think I have any, like, Happy Mother's Day stickers on any of my samplers or anything. Um, no. Probably not, so I'll figure out something to put there. But I know that's happening. And let's see, what else would I want to put on the sidebar? Um, I checked the timing. I should have known that I was running out of time. 
but I didn't use my noggin there very well. So let's find a sticker. Um, Monday through Sunday sticker. Maybe I have something here in my scribble print stash that will work for tracking spending. Let me just go through here. Probably a February one if I have a February one. Just gotta find my February items because they're all over the place. I found where my pink ones were hiding, but they weren't exactly the best color match. So I found these ones, my multi-color multi ones, and this pink one is actually a better color match. So I just want to take one of these stickers, the mint one, for some contrast, and line it up right there. And then I'll just put this weekly sticker right underneath of that. I'm done with those. And I think that's all I need on the sidebar, so I'll figure out how to fill in over there in a minute. So, now I didn't pull out anything at all to go along with this, so I'm going to be flipping through my binder quite a bit. And the first section here is the baseball section, so I'll just pull out some of these. I have, these is, that's all that's left in my Libby & Co. ones that I was using for last season. So I just want to finish them up. I'm going to pull up the schedule here on my phone. I was just looking at it, so it's right here. And let's see. Tomorrow. So it doesn't look like there's a game on Monday. There is a game on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday Saturday and Sunday oh, slipped with that one I love Libby & Co. stickers, but I definitely wouldn't recommend the baseball stickers, personally, because they are huge. They are massive stickers, and I just feel like marking baseball, I just want something smaller that I can just keep track of very easily, and I don't have to look at this huge, massive sticker with this huge, massive border. It takes up a lot of room, so that's why I'm just not a fan of the Libby & Co. baseball stickers. I do love Libby & Co. stickers, though, in general. Just... They are a favorite. I've got meal planning, I've got weekly spending, I've got mail, I've got hydrate. Uh, let's see, I've got TV stuff, I've got those. I'm just flipping through my binder. I will have to pay my student loan. So let's pull out a sticker for that. That will come from this paycheck. Where are the student loan stickers? Here we go. And it looks like this mint colored one is going to be perfect. So I'll just line that up right there. That is perfect. Awesome. Another thing I'm going to have to do is plan. I won't have time on Sunday, so it's going to end up being on Saturday. I'm just going to put this little sweet Kawhi Design Planner sticker right there. And these were left over from... I don't know what kit these were from, but I had a bunch left over. So, I'm just going to stick that right there. And that also means I'll be filming, so maybe I can put a cute little filming sticker there. Let's see what I've got. Hmm. Upload, cord. This one from Libby and Co. is the best bet. Yeah, that's cute. Cute little accent. Alrighty. And then I need a mail sticker to stick where I'm going to track mail. And 
it? I think I'm going to use this one. I forget where this one's from, but it's cute. That's adorable. Yeah, I love that. I love being able to use up the little one-off stickers I have in my sticker book. And in the spirit of using things up, I'm going to use these stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design. From a kit I used quite a while ago. This might be the February kit. That's super cute. Adorable. And just as I go, I cut off like extra bits that I don't really need, and then I save the little bits that I'll use in the future in my sticker planner. Or not my sticker planner. <laughs> Losing my mind. My sticker binder. Now I'm going to need a few little checklists for the week for my meetings and such. So, actually, you know, I didn't include laundry. I need to do that too because that's got to get done for sure. It's kind of important. Make sure you've got clean clothes, you know? Oh, I didn't include watering the plants either. So I have this little mint colored Erin Condren do-it-all dot. And I'm going to stick that. Mm, what day am I going to end up doing laundry? Probably, yeah, probably Thursday. So, so it doesn't blend in too much right there. I'm going to, no, I could put it at the bottom of the list, yeah. It doesn't blend in too much there. That's cute. And then, which do I want to use? I'm probably going to use these because they'll fit better in the spread. But, while I'm thinking about it, I have several of these little Lexi Kylie. That would work. Oh, and that would work. Okay, I'm going to use the ones from the sampler sheet first. Okay. So... Wednesday and Sunday. Oh, that's so cute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. So, I'm going to use this grilling and chilling sticker right here. Layered over that box because we're going to have a Mother's Day cookout. And I'll fill that in when I do all my writing. And that's also Lexi Kylie. Super cute. What else do I need to include? Um, yeah, oh, the lists for our work. So I can use these dots, actually, and get some use out of those. Which would be great. I know there's something Tuesday for sure. Two things at least. Definitely one thing on Monday. Pretty sure. When was that meeting? Is that Wednesday or Thursday? Not 100% sure, but I know there's at least a couple of things Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that, and then I'll keep these with me all week, but I know there's more stuff coming up. I'm going to try using the Papermate Ink Joy Gel, and we'll see how this goes. Using it last week, I found that I just need to give it a few seconds to dry, and then it would be fine. But let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, I need something right there. can't believe I forgot that. So I'm going to go to my my little sheet full of washies all of my planner kate washies and see if there's something that would work something minty that would work really well right there let's see what's in the random pack I always forget what I have in here oh I could put one of those right there that's cute yeah let's do that I like that 
<laughs> There's these little elephants too, but they're a little too yellow green. Yeah, I like the little that. Let's do one of those, the scallops. Then I can put the rest of these away. And I'll just put one little scallop down there just to fill the space. Oh, you know, how about I don't rip it? Oh, let's try and get it off. You have to be very careful with these because they're... They stick really, really well to these papers that they're put on. I don't even know if I'm going to get this off of here without ripping it a thousand times, if I'm being honest. Let's see. Oh yeah, this one's a goner. Let's try the next one, shall we? These are hard to get off. Probably because the washi is so thin. Is this getting on anyone else's nerves? Because it's getting on mine. I like my fingernails aren't long, so I can't grab this teeny tiny little piece. Okay. Pull up the edges first. And pull from the center. That was more of a pain in the butt than I really wanted it to be for just this little piece of washi. Oh my goodness, this is becoming quite the event just to stick a little piece of washi here. Okay. Good enough. I'm not dealing with it no more. It is done. Where did I put my scissors at? Dag on it. Cutting off the ripped one and calling it a day. Now I'm going to fill in with some writing. <laughs> oh, goodness. I've been turning off the camera for this part recently, but I think I'll just leave it on. It doesn't really matter all that much. This is going to be a pain in the butt to write on. Have you guys been watching Survivor? Who's your favorite? Ty is still my favorite. I absolutely love him. I think he's just the sweetest little man. So sweet. I love how the women are kind of kicking ass this season, too, though, so I wouldn't be mad if a woman won. I think there's a lot of kick-ass women on this season. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it at this for now. There is something happening on the 7th. I don't remember what it was, but uh, I'm sure I'll remember at some point. I think this came together rather well. It is so pretty. I love how this looks. It's so cute. Ugh, it's so cute. I absolutely love it. So I'm trying to think, is there anything else I can add? 
I think that's good for now, actually. This is looking good. So, I completely used up the full box sheet, and I completely used up the ombre checklist sheet. This is what's left of the Littles sheet. So there's a to-do flag that you could have used along here or just anywhere in the week. One extra hydrate sticker, one extra meal plan sticker. She is actually changing this to reformat so there's just seven and seven so you'll get something else there. Um, six TV stickers left and a money bag sticker left. So still quite a lot to work with. There's an extra weekend banner this other quarter box and all these dots that I'll fill in with my work meetings once I remember schedule. I usually write my schedule down at the end of the Friday work day so I can use it here um, or I'll have my work laptop with me but I just left in kind of a rush um, Friday because I wanted to get to my mom so I could help comfort her since the dog died but um, yeah that's how this week looks. I think it's super cute and I'm really happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And if you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to see a whole other take on this kit, you can check out Bonnie's video. I will have her channel linked below. And otherwise, I will talk to you all later. Bye!